Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Bain, Senior Applications Engineer, and in this video we'll be covering the second direction option available for the parting line mode of the draft command. When preparing models for manufacturing through plastic injection molding, it's critically important to have a minimum amount of draft throughout the design to allow the mold tooling to separate properly without damaging the part. And by the way, proper drafting is just one element of successful plastic part design. If you'd like to learn about some of our recommended best practices for plastic parts and SOLIDWORKS, make sure to check out the full-length webinar that we've linked in the description below. Here I have an assembly of a unicycle, which is nearly complete except for the seat, which will be manufactured from plastic and then covered in stitched fabric. Due to the organic nature of the shape of the seat, parting line draft will be required both above and below the highlighted edges, for proper manufacturing. Prior to SOLIDWORKS 2022, this would require a separate draft feature for each side of the parting line, but with the addition of the second direction option for parting line draft, both operations can now be combined into a single feature. To do this, simply access the Features tab of the Command Manager, then select Draft. Ensure that Manual Mode is selected at the top of the Property Manager, and then select Parting Line under Type of Draft. Once Parting Line Draft has been specified, choose a plane or planar face to represent the direction of pull for the draft as you normally would, and then select the proper parting lines. Now, click the available checkbox to turn on Direction 2 for Draft Angle, and a second Draft Angle field will become available for the opposite side of the parting lines. It's really that simple. If the draft for your design is intended to be equal on both sides of the parting line, enable the symmetrical draft checkbox to limit the draft angle to one input box and ensure that both values remain the same. In this case, however, we need a more aggressive angle on the lower side of the parting line, so I'll turn symmetrical draft back off and input the proper draft angle values for both directions. That's all there is to it. As you can see in the design tree, only one draft feature was created, where we would normally need to create and manage at least two features. This workflow can save you quite a bit of time for both the initial design and editing of drafted parts, especially in organic shaped designs such as this where a neutral plane draft would be insufficient. Just a couple additional fillets added to the top and bottom, and some appearances will have this seat looking ready to ride. Remember, you can always validate the results of your draft by using the Draft Analysis tool found in the Evaluate tab of the Command Manager. If you've never used this tool before, check the description below for a link to a quick video tutorial. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and tell us about some of your best practices for using parting line draft in the comments. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for weekly tech tip videos on everything SOLIDWORKS and easy access to our huge library of other tips and tricks. Finally, if you're looking to become a true SOLIDWORKS expert, be sure to check out HawkridgeSys.com for more information on the SOLIDWORKS certification program and to learn more about all our professional SOLIDWORKS training opportunities. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.